everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a template in the new web forms. So I'm just going to log into my web forms here from Toronto Stratus. And it's going to take me to the new one and I'm just going to press sign in. Okay, so it's taken me directly to the new web forms and it's taken me to my dashboard here. So when it first step in creating a template is I can create the press the create template button right on my dashboard. Uh, there's another way to do it too. Uh, you can also go through your setup and go to transaction templates and this will take you to your template section. If you're doing it through the dashboard it's probably faster and you can just create this but click this button here. If you don't have the create template button, if it's not there, you can always just press the unlock button up here and drag and drop the templates button into the position you want it, relock, and it'll be there. But it should already be there for you. So I'm going to just create or click on create template. And it's going to give me a list right now of all the templates I've already created. Um, if you haven't created any yet, it'll be blank. So in the top corner here, uh, the first thing I can do is I can filter through. So I can filter through my templates, the offices. Um, so we have actually already gone ahead and created some templates for you. You should already have access to all of these, but of course you can always go and create your own as well. You don't have to use them. You also have these up and down arrows. This just allows you to sort via name. Um, next to each template, you can copy, edit, or delete. So you'll be able to edit your templates at any time or make a copy of them if you want to just tweak them a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new one by pressing the add button and I'm just going to get this little pop up here. So under ownership you'll probably only have the option for personal and I'm going to create the name of my template so I'm just going to say these templates and I'll be representing the tenant. Under type I'm going to say it's a condo lease and then I can write a brief description. Okay, and when I'm done, I'm just gonna press save. So now I'm kind of at a new dashboard here. Um, all the information that I've just put in is under the details tab and I can always minimize this if we don't wanna look at it anymore. So the first thing we're gonna want to do um, is we're gonna add our forms. So that'll be our forms here. So I'm going to press the plus button under add forms. And now I can just start adding the forms I need. Now I can just search by clicking Ontario Real Estate Association and then just going through all the forms they have. Or I can search for them specifically. So if I want agreement to lease, um, there's a listing agreement. Okay, agreement to lease, residential. Now, I'm going to choose the one Schedule A page. You'll see that there's an option to have two Schedule A's, three Schedule A's, but I find it's easiest to do one and then add more as I go later. But that's entirely up to you. So I'm going to click on that, add a little check mark, and we're going to see that it's added to my basket here. So I can start doing another one as well. Um, I believe the tenancy agreement I'll need. Let's see here. Um, Ontario Residential Tenancy Agreement, so I'm going to check that off. And what else do I need? Buyer Rep. Um, and we'll do Confirmation. Co-op. And please, please do not use me as a guide to what forms you need. Um, this is not my strong suit, so I'm hoping you guys will have a better idea. Okay, and we're going to do working with the realtor. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those in. So I can see I've added in all my forms. Now there's also a documents and folders section. So if there's any documents that aren't listed and I want to add, we can add those as well. So if I were to add a document, I can either drag and drop from my computer or I can press this little upload and it'll upload directly from my computer here. Or what I can do is copy from documents. So I can copy from folders I've already uploaded. Um, but if I actually go to share documents, um, or I guess in uh, 
my sense. I'm going to go to my folders and I'm going to go and see that I've had a few forms I've already uploaded. So I'm just going to upload, let's see, our Schedule D. I don't think I need a Schedule D, but just to give you, show you as an example. So you can, any forms you upload in documents and folders is just going to be a PDF. These won't be able to be edited or anything. Uh, they're just there to send through to DocuSign with the rest of your documents. Uh, teams and sharing down here, this will allow you to share your template with other team members. So if I want to press add, um, I've already created some teams. So for example, one of the teams I've created is a Remax Condos Plus team, which has every agent in the brokerage. But you can go ahead and create your own team, but we'll show you how to do that another time. But this would be so if let's say you created a team with you and a few other realtors, you guys will be able to share your templates. Um, you'll only be able to be on a team with other members of your brokerage. So for incorporated brokerages, this will be like um, Remax Urban, you'll only be able to share with Urban Agents, Condos Plus, only Condos Plus Agents. It's just the way Webforms has it set up. Okay, so you can also add contacts. I find not many people use this as well. And checklists if there's things that you want to do, but we won't probably use checklists right away. So once we have all of our forms, we can go ahead and we can edit each individual form. So I'm just going to edit the first form here. Now keep in mind all of this stuff because it's just a template you're going to use leave blank, but you'll probably want to add additional clauses. So you can go ahead and you'll just click on the clause button up here and you can search for any clauses you want. So I'm going to go to my personal clauses. I happen to have a bunch of clauses about pets. I'm going to add my dog clause in. Clearly, I don't know how to write clauses, but it's just more of an example. Um, but we can also search like office clauses. Oh, that's taking a while. Or the system clauses as well, which are probably the ones you're most likely going to be using. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a good example for... Um, We'll just do a condo and I'm just going to grab a random couple clauses here and throw them in there. So you can go ahead and fill anything you fill out will be always using the template. And like I said, when you want to add an additional Schedule A, let's say you have so many clauses, you can always just go to add page and press yes. And it's going to just add another Schedule A all the way down at the bottom here. See, and we can just go page four and we can go page five. And this little booklet thing will just allow me to skip from page to page if I don't want to keep scrolling. Now I can always go to transaction forms and it's going to take me to the next form that I can edit. So most of this stuff you're not going to edit in your template right now, but you can go in and maybe fill something that's pretty universal. Same thing, you can click on any form. Okay, you can also change your font, style, color, size. You probably won't use this much. I find everything that they have is, is pretty simple. Um, you can also add watermarks, remove the form, print it, but um, you won't pro probably use any of these things when making a template. We can zoom out as well. So when we're all done, I'm just going to go to File, and we're going to press Exit, and then that just takes us right back to the original screen. Um, so in terms of adding templates, really you'll just be adding forms, and that's pretty much it. So when you're done, oh, um, actually it should just save automatically. So if I'm just going to go back to my dashboard, and I can go back to view my templates at any time, by clicking my template button here. And we should find the one I just created and it'll just save automatically. So there's no need to go and press like save every time. Once you've created it, it's there to stay. And you can also access your templates at any time by just creating the create template button and it just takes you to the transaction templates as well. Also, if you go into create a transaction, You'll now notice that you'll have a template button here and you'll now be given the option. You can see the one we just created is listed here under lease template.
so I'll be able to use that information. And that's it. That's how you create a template. Thank you.